Hey guys, Neil Morrison here with Foreclosure Institute of Sacramento and BuySacramentoProperties.com. First, I want to thank you very much for watching our video today. We are going to talk today a little bit about why Sacramento short sales with more than three mortgages are very difficult. If you're looking to buy a short sale, before you make an offer, you need to check and see how many mortgages are on that particular home. A short sale with only one mortgage is not very difficult, and even an inexperienced agent can often get those short sales approved. Now, a short sale with two loans becomes a little bit more difficult, and you'll need to have uh, a little bit more experience, and you'll need to get the agreement between each one of those lenders. So now an experienced short sale agent can get these done, but again, it does take a little bit more experience. Now, however, when you get to three or more mortgages, it's a whole nother story. It becomes more complicated because the first mortgage will only allow generally between $2,500 to $3,000 to help satisfy the second lender. And they do not have any kind of policy in place to allow money for the third lender. So generally, the third lender is the odd wheel in this group and they generally don't get anything out of this transaction. Now talking about that a little bit, short sales with three or more, this is kind of a general process. You've got the first lender that has to accept your deal. They will and are willing to negotiate with the second lender but they only allow a certain amount to pay them off. The second lender has to agree also to the sale and needs to agree to the terms of the first lender. Where the problem comes in is the third lender. Think of it as a, a party that wants to get paid, but they can't get paid because there's no more money left over. So remember it in the chain of command. First lender has the pull. Second lender has a little bit of pull, but they don't get anything if the first lender doesn't agree to it. So when you're dealing with a third lender, it makes it very difficult for all three of these to come to an agreement. So with that third lender being in position, you got to keep in mind that that is a third wheel and it can, they can easily throw a wrench in the deal and bosh this whole thing. So try to stay away from those third lending or third mortgages. So this is what makes the short sale with three or more very difficult. The first mortgage, second mortgage, and third mortgage, they generally fight over what money is going to be available. So at this time, the first mortgage usually will foreclose on the property and the second and third position lenders won't get a dime. At the end of the day, everyone ends up losing more than, than they would have gained and it uh, wastes a lot of people's time and effort. This is why usually you want to stay away from those lenders that have three or more lenders. Guys, thank you very much. If you're thinking about doing a loan modification and you need more help or information, don't forget, you can visit us at sacramentoloanmodsecrets.com. If you guys are thinking about doing a short sale and need more attention, more help, more suggestions, please don't, don't hesitate to visit us at sacramentoshortsaleblogs.com. There you can get a lot of information. You guys, thank you very much uh, for watching the video today. Until next time, be sure to check out and come back to our our blogs for more real estate videos that can help you with your real estate needs. And thanks for watching my video blog. See you guys next time.